Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series of Fallout 76. Uh, this series is meant to be running in conjunction with uh, Fallout um, New Vegas. But um, I've taken a bit of a break. So I wanted to go ahead and start with 76. So let's um, see the intro. Uh, and don't forget to leave us a, um, a like button down below. Um, leave a subscription haven't already um or follow and uh, don't forget to comment down below too war war never changes in 1776 this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life liberty and the pursuit of happiness if our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But. If that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. So, um, as you probably know, obviously, 76 is the multiplayer version of Fallout. And so, our, um, I guess, adult life begins. So, we can move left or right. The master selects an area of change, so. Is, move the mouse. Oh, we might have to do, like. Oh, I think I was happy with number 11 to be honest. Oh. Battle face one. Nah. I think this is okay. I think this is the same one I have actually. Uh, the one I um did on the PlayStation, but I think it's fine. Um. No, no, I'd probably go for like let's go just muscular and thin, uh, just for the role playing aspect of life. Let's just put that right up there. Cool. Except, and let's just press done. We're done. We don't need any scars. Or oh, do we need like no cancel it? Cancel that and um, face. And uh, let's go for a little bit of more of a beard. Um, what else can we fit here? The ombre, I like that one. No, um, mm. eh, I mean, it is, it is piratey, but I think the survivalist, 
I like the survivalist. Um, the only thing I don't like is the color. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm not that pale. <laughs> Let's go for burn, but I can I wanted the facial hair. Um, color. So if we go back, face, back, extras. Ah! Face. Why can't we just fight? Cancel. Cancel. Extras. Make up time. Oh, no, no, thank you. Damage. No. Blemishes. Oh, no, no, thank you. Marking and makeup. Okay, well, we don't need any of that. So why isn't... So why is, uh, what's it called? It was right there. Hang on. Facial hair. Survivalist, right? Color. So why can't I change... Okay, John, we're done. Let's just, let's just go over it. Uh, we're gonna go with Alex and... Fine. Cool. We are level one. We have no face. This is, I think, our picture. Bum bum. About. Go like down a little bit, out a little bit. No, maybe up. Uh, maybe about. I kind of like the idea of having that thing in the background, but unfortunately it's not it. It's not going to do it, so let's just do about it here. And let's take a snapshot. Don't do it. Snapshot. Exit. Okay, there we go. Q. Uh, we can access photo mode, exit, etc. Cool. So, uh, going around, look. look. Don't need to bed. Do you have a magazine? But it seems like we can't pick it up. Didn't use a terminal. Let's see what what they're saying. So, happy reclamation day. I uh, press tab is back. Uh, and then I think it's or oh, enter may work. Okay. But I think that, uh, bum, that's for menu, uh, settings, game, just, just reduce sensitivity slightly, a bit too sensitive for my liking. Yeah. Cool. And, you know, your, t your stereotypical, um, room in the vault. So, I like the, like that. But yeah, uh, let's got the pit boy. Activate. Int. Wrap it in. And let's uh, get going. So reclamation day has now begun. And as you can see, a party has happened. So reclamation day means that you can finally leave well, there's a nice uh, football in the middle of the pitch. And what I'm going to do, actually, just before I forget, because sometimes I just don't realise what, what, you know, what anyone's saying. Uh, let's make sure that there is... Where's the... Where's the... Ah, here we go. On. So yeah, we want all of those on. Uh, conversation history? No idea what that means. Uh, all, all. Let's go for blue. I like blue. 
So Pip Boy is oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. Okay. So we have a Hutchley. Um and it's marked down as a and there's probably another one up here. Yep. Hey, so as you can see, pretty much I think everyone has left. We're the only ones left um behind. And I will take obviously the three items. Like, did I miss any over here? No, I haven't. Okay. So pressing shift while you while you uh, walk forward, actually, you run like, and you just you don't have to hold it. Be on constant alert for the clickety click of your pimp boy's built-in radiation. Having this. You are, um, I kind of remember you, but I don't know from what. Those are the nuclear reactors, I believe, and that powers up the. Old creature comforts out there, sir. Uh, oh. But yeah. yeah, so we've got our components to build, um, to craft our base, which means that wherever we go, we can build a base, and that's where we you know, upgrade and do all of our stuff. I'm going to take a party hat because, I mean, why not? Let's head over to our items. Uh, we've got, obviously, some of the stuff here. So we've got weapons, armor, and apparel. Let's put on the party hat. It does absolutely nothing. But um, how do we go to first person? There we go, V. If I hold V, nope. Yeah, we can now. How do we put our things? G. No, not G. Okay. Okay, let's just quickly just set off with the settings here. Controls. Attack. That grenade is left out. That oh boy. Nika's left control. Run is C. Always run is the dash button. I don't like that one. X is auto move. What's the What's the button to like put away your weapons? What's left? Left shit is the sprint. I will always run. Oh, okay, so that way you can run instead of yeah. Okay. Um, left oh is attack and grenade. Right, boy, mouse free is OV and workshop. That must be the wheel button, right? Okay. It's, it's essentially get there after, but yeah, okay, here we go. And then that for the wheel as well. Um, okay, so this is our camp. What we need to take with us. That's, uh, it helps us like an area boost it's like an, an area range where you um where you can build get a job and get a pen and glasses not lie that door open that's where we leave okay so let's just retry take our steps a little bit because we need to see what the over, um, overseas mission as you can see there's a lot of Camp spot. Yeah, so. When you get outside, Quickly go into that room there. Yeah. Go back into first person, it's just so much easier. Um, I think we can take, like, cell. To, uh, rummage through. So let's just go and see the terminals. Go, um, overseas terminals. Uh, so we can play the terminal. The hard tape. Break protocol and tell you what it is. 
Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. Okay. So essentially, uh, we have to go find um, Overseer. That's what basically what uh, she said. I don't know if that was caught on or not, but... Uh, it doesn't seem anything here to uh, pick up. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, make our first um, steps um, out of the uh, vault and into... And into the uh, Appalachia region. Uh, since we've obviously been here just now, uh, just making sure that we go through these steps again. But yeah, I mean, party cats everywhere. Cool. So let's just make sure that we've obviously uh, picked up everything that we could pick up. Obviously, stuff that we can't. Uh, that's totally a okay. And here we go, guys. So it's a special loadout. So we have a, a battle ready dweller, um, level twenty. The special loadout of their choice. They prepare to jump into more difficult content or part time training before taking a more difficult challenge. Um, I like the idea of going into level two. Um, it's build our character a little bit better there. Um. It grants 10% damage bonus to your 200 weapons. I don't like 200 weapons. It grants 5% XP when you team up with others. Cool. It grants 15% actual point regeneration. Okay, that's pretty cool. 10% um, damage to your pistols. Impacts do 15% more health. Uh, I like the idea of this. We can come in handy. We'll take the first aid perk card um, to begin with. And obviously, I know after then you can. Um, uh, you know, didn't change and rejiggle the uh, cards to your specifications or to your uh, different play styles, really. So we'll just do, we'll just use this for the week for the for the time being. Let's just go ahead over here and just be like... Cool. So, we here, we have a um, level 17 um, other player around. Uh, let's just quickly come over to the side, uh, as I saw this dead body over here. Um, on the corpse, so we'll take, take, take. Uh, we have a level two, two, oh, three, I think, ghouls over there. I'm going to leave them behind for the moment, and let's go talk to um, Pennington, the uh, robot. Oh, sir, those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil. Okay. Uh, any idea what those two are doing up here? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. So, um, you sound like they do. You, you sound like you think they're up to something. I've been keeping what 
watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. I fully actually agree with this. Um, have you seen the overseer? Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. And then I will be my, on my way. Cool. So, let's do the first uh, little bits here. Um, let's go ahead and we got the 10 millimeter pistol. And we have... 514 ammo. Good on. Just to see, and it doesn't seem like that guy has dropped anything, but I think he did make his way over here though. And yep, he did actually kill them all. Which, to be honest, I'm quite disappointed about because I actually kind of wanted to come and uh, kill them on my own. Let's see where he's going anyway. So. I'm going to get some um, thingy here. Some like involvement. So. There's nothing there. Oops, some ammo there and some uh, goodies. I believe this is. No, this is not the um, edge of the map. It's just purely. But over here. I do see an ammo box here, so I'm definitely going to jump over for this. And let me just... Anything here? There is a tunnel of a sort over here, so let's just quickly see what's this about. So, okay, it leads nowhere. Oh, there's something over here, though. What is this? Fire cap. Okay, interesting. And I do see a dead responder and a an ammo uh, a healing box so let's just harvest some of these materials um i don't know if i saw an ammo box on this side or not let's just quickly have a look um no i didn't that tank is probably empty so uh, let's just see if there's anything in here that may have respawned blue spring and some unrefined gunpowder cool i'll take those so let's go back up here and I wonder if I can potentially heal the just favor you and you. I keep pressing escape as a means to Yeah, so I want to try and see if I can kill these ghouls just using the... Oh, I actually just found a bat. Combat knife or bat? What do you think is better? Ten? Oh. Thirty-one. Oh, definitely thirty-one. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that way. I didn't mean to... Ah! And then, yeah, okay. Got it. I think I, I think I know what I'm doing now. Uh, it's just when you start obviously a new game, uh, buttons a little different, and so I just sometimes take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, just picking up everything I can do uh, can just you know makes a little extra money um, on the side if we need to purchase any ammo or any uh, items etc. So. It's, if you don't need to, then obviously totally fine. I'm just going to pick up. It seems like maybe these have been left here by uh, some more experienced players. Uh, I, I am obviously experienced, uh, but not... Oh. There we go. I don't need to. Take, I think, a teeny, weeny, weeny bit of damage. But nothing too horrendous. Um, the open world here actually looks amazing on PC. So I, I've played this on the PlayStation, on um, the PS4 and 5. I don't think it really 
because it's the same account, isn't it? So I'm gonna take both hands. Take a pencil. Even hang off the buying pad because we could just, you know, we can just take all of these down into little bits and bobs. So I'll open up the donation box. Uh, we don't necessarily need all of these items. And for now, I'll take them, but, at, you know, more towards the, uh, after the later stages of the beginning of the game, I'll start donating some items to people as well, so they can also pick up stuff. Uh, we've got a bed over here as well, if we just also need a bit of an area to quickly sleep in. Cool, so let's interact with uh, Lacey and um, Izela. Whoa, whoa, just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? Uh, the door's so tight, so no one's getting back in. God damn it. <sighs> we got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? New bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps. And he said that inside that vault is the... You know... That's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. What does he mean by the big one? You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. But... I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? Um... Do you have a spare weapon? They sent you out here without a weapon? A quick trip trying to do this on. Oh, what else can you tell me about this treasure? Because I'm because quite curious about it. No, someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried with people as desperate as they are. It's meant everyone with a functioning radio. Okay. Monsters. Are Guy we met at the Wayward, Carter. I think up to us now to make. Well. Just hmm. awesome about the overseer. If your overseer crossed our path, seems like they set themselves. Then we'll, we'll head over to the wayward then. Someone made a bro Oh, I have accidentally like clicked the wrong thing. Monsters. Are we met at the wayward. Up to us now to. Um, I'll be back. Be going. Cool. So, celebrating 300 years of uh, what's left of America right now. Um, cool. So, uh, in the kind of like my. Kind of like my PlayStation one. I just wanted to get up here. Um, I set up my base. I think right next to that red dome over there, because um, there's like a train station and some water source. I probably most likely will go back and um, go over into that region. Uh, it's just easy. You get a few little, um, a couple of enemies that you can like kill for a couple of XP here and there. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of easy. I think that place over there, I think, is the um, golf course, I believe. I'm not quite sure, and I don't anything else that I'm kind of, like, used to. Uh, oh, and down there, obviously, those look like the big mining rigs of, of um, late. So, yeah. Um, cool. Let's just kill this bad boy and take his uh, gold fork. Uh, oh, there's a couple more enemies to kill. And I forget that you do take some radiation damage um, from the guilds. And there you go, guys. That's level three. Cool. Any more enemies that want to die? It doesn't look like it. Nope. Cool. So let's just make our way down to the wayward. Um, I like the. It is so beautiful this um this area though. They top notch to the, the developers, you know. 
No one really wanted a a multiplayer Fallout. Um, it's just it's not Fallout. You know what I mean? Where you have to play multiplayer. Um, but they really did make the area glow. It looks so much better. Like the difference between this a Fallout, um, not sorry, to to the fourth one, is a is obviously a big big difference. Like different landscapes. Um. Um, different bugs, obviously different, I know, well, mostly different uh, enemy types. Um, but the difference between, like, New Vegas and 4 is huge. But the difference between 4 and 76, I think, is even larger. Um, I think it might still run slightly on the same engine type. Um, so it may not be as big of a difference as you think it would be. But, again, I think... Yeah, it just looks absolutely amazing. Um, and I believe I'm running settings on uh, pretty much all quite high. Uh, which I may decide to change. Uh, simply because... Oh, we might as well take these. Uh, simply because I don't really care much about like shadow or anything like that. It, it, to me, it doesn't add much to the game. Whereas I'd rather have performance based over slightly better looking, um, if you know what I mean. But I believe this um, place is just like right over there or maybe over there-ish somewhere. So along the lines of about here and there. So we do see here a um, farmhouse, I'm assuming. On fire, in a, yeah, just a couple of little farmhouses here and there. So... Um, and it's also becoming night as well. So, a weak all over here, that's fine. If we, like, sneak our way over, then, yeah, we do two times damage for um, weakness. Um, also, I believe, I don't know why it's like, the, the, the uh, inventory bar doesn't actually pop up so nicely. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually... Like, kind of supposed to go through here. Am I supposed to, like, stay on the path? Um, I'm not sure if there's, like, any other enemies, maybe. You know, they're kind of, you're kind of weak enemies that you stay within the path as such. So. And there's obviously, you can't really pause in this game, can you? So. I'm just going to quickly just chop up here for a moment as I pause the. Well, I'm doing quotation marks. There's actually a robot right there. Just pause um, just for a quick moment. So give me two seconds and I'll be uh, right back with you. Okay, guys. Yeah, so just had to. I just wanted to quickly see what the audio was like. And I think it's a bit low in the first part of uh, the game. So I'm trying. So I'll try to up the volume for that section. Um, I see. So it is obviously starting to become nighttime. And I do see. Actually. Someone over there. I think we just a responder. So let's just quickly go over and see. I don't know if there's anything we can like hoard or take. Maybe you can find a couple more stim packs or anything like that. But obviously, again, more importantly, we get to um, discover a new area that we can fast travel to. I don't know what to. Um, light button is actually um, this because obviously it will become very very dark soon and with darkness becomes oof, you know very very dark light and I'm not sure how really dark this is um, right now on the recording but hopefully it won't be too bad let's see yes, I wish that brotherhood would share what they've learned with the rest of us it could benefit so many you're always welcome here. My friend, gonna get you anything? I wasn't... I'm gonna take all of the rounds here. Um, I'm not quite sure. And I might be fully wrong here. Isn't the responders just uh, an update that the that Bethesda did recently? It actually weren't part of the original got those bots up and running. Fixing this all by hand would be a nightmare. Game or not. Mask. Chop. Wood. 
Forever. Enter this. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we need to take the right leg in order to enter the power armor, which, okay, I'll take the frame. Absolutely no problem with that. Which means I do believe that he needs, blah, this means that we actually now own um, of the frame. So, how do I leave? Hold E. Yep, hold E. Um, leave at any time. And then spacebar to collect it. Or just go in your inventory. This is something I preferred over to the um, fourth game. Where want to lose lumberjack you jobs just have to take it wherever. Can't take it, you're gonna have to like um, get inside it, etc. So I did pop up in an achievement. I'm not quite sure. I'll look at that in a moment. But yeah, this definitely wasn't here. Um, previously so it's nice to know that June handles the supplies. Really it's kind of here to help um beginners primary directives all trees must become desirable stash box yes products. cool so this is definitely definitely um so that i can get back towards so the there is obviously um once you kind of left the, the vault and oh this is what I was talking about how you can obviously change your special stuff. Um once you so once you leave the vaults then you have access to basically the rest of basically anything and everything, right? You have access to the shop, the atomic shop, Whoa! you have access to oh, sorry. You startled me. That's fine. You have access to the the wood tiles here just as we're here we've got it in here Ooh, they died all wood must be chopped um okay Lumberjack um yeah you have access to basically everything else and and including those all day. Uh, um they do here oh it's um a okay Cool. And yeah, so part of it obviously is these like daily um, uh, or challenges that will give you um, atomic points that then you can use um, to purchase stuff in the atomic uh, shop. Yeah, why is some of these guys dead? Interesting. I don't know. So let's go to the workbench here. So I want to press R for scrap items. And I'm just going to go over to the miscellaneous. Oh, sorry, to the junk. I'm basically you're just going to scrap all junk so all of this stuff here which is obviously um i don't, I don't want to scrap that i want to leave that as it is because that only weighs point 10 and then removing all of that weighs a lot more let's grab um so what we can do actually is actually head back out go to our what's that stash box so this stash box is something that will be forever anywhere anywhere that we can access if we just go to our junk and we just go over to um scraps that, that copper scraps um basically you do want to like break everything down um to its most basic uh materials put that in there um put the steel and obviously some of the you actually do want to leave it as it is, but I'm not entirely sure um, which ones are which we want to keep. So I'm basically going to swap everything that I have at the moment. And if you just go to, over to a power um, armor, yeah, I'm just going to put the right leg, and I'm going to put the chassis uh, chassis away, uh, just because, just because. Um, yeah, that's like an extra 10 weight on us that we don't actually need. So if we can head back out, um, and just back, and then just head over again, back over to the junk, and then press T for all scrap. Yep. Boom. This is, here's the support ones. 
I'm pretty much again. Um, got these, but I'm not sure if that is just a lot better to keep it as that or not. I don't know. Uh, so we got here a chessboard. Um, take this to read, and we could just take it again. Up items and scrap all junk. So you don't have to really go over there um, if you don't wish. However, you could obviously, you know, if you want, you could scrap these. It'll give you concrete scrap and lead scrap, but you, I'm pro probably just going to just um, sell them off uh, for a little bit of early cash. So press T to store all junk. Trees, but and then, yeah, boom. So, Hello there, stranger. Where'd you come ambling in from? Uh, Vault 76. One of those vault dwellers, are you? I've heard tell of your kind. Solved a lot of problems. And caused a lot of problems from what I hear. You wouldn't happen to be one of the problem-solving kind, would you? I could use one of those right about now. Oh, excuse me. Let me introduce myself. Name's Lane Platt. I'm with the Responders. We're a band of self-titled do-gooders around these parts. Appalach is filling up fast. We're trying to keep everyone hale and healthy and off each other's throats. A noble goal. I like to think so. It gives me hope that we can one day right all the wrongs in this world. Now, there's a lot going on in this neck of the woods, more than I can tackle myself. You got ferocious beasts roaming the forest, creepy cult moving into the caves, and all manner of people about ready to go to war with one another. All that is to say, I could use a hand, and I'd be willing to pay you for yours. What do you think? Um, I'll accept. Yep. Why, that is just terrific. Thank you a thousand times over. Let's see what's going on today. A forest is a dangerous place. Not compared to other regions, my. To make it safer over. for new settlements, we've been clearing out dangerous critters and using the meat to feed people in need. If you could go retrieve the meat from our traps. I'll get started. Right I now. appreciate your. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, the early responders is just like little missions that you can do. Um. You know what? Dello! I'm still here. Not panicking. I'm the quartermaster at this little. I, uh. I wanted to be a doctor. Yeah, so as you can see, yeah, so okay. I'm not sure what kind of update or when they did this, but it was definitely sometime during the last time I played and kind of like the time before that. So I don't think you can, yeah, you can't like fix these like anymore like you used to. Um, I'm just going to take, that's fine. Weapons, yes, fine. Okay, we're just going to go back to her and we're just going to, oh. So, um, yeah, so we might as well just do this now. So we've got you see, daily challenges. So I believe if we click this and yep, see so we've got daily challenges where you get scores and scores will do, I don't know, I can't remember what it, what it will give you. But, um, so we've got some daily scores, which is a uh, big crap though, because it should be slightly different. I think it should be like, depend on what level you, you are, it will depend what kind of daily, um, like thingies you can do you know because this is just i mean i'm not gonna go kill a death claw I'm, I'm way too too um under leveled for it you know um or anything like this um but i mean the probably one thing i could do is do this you know and that's it uh maybe you know maybe this fiber if i'm lucky maybe drink a couple of these uh, maybe from you know if, if there's a lot of people making Ends up going to an event and just you know not take part of it, but do it, etc. But yeah, you'll get a bunch of scores on these. What do you get from it though? I can't remember, but yeah, you get you know other things. You got character-based ones, which is um, yeah, so it's pretty pretty simple. Um, that is that. So you get atoms for these. So what's that? 40, 50, 60, you get a perk card, an extra perk card. Um, and yeah, you know, get some wood, get some atoms, etc. Yeah, like bulk wood, bulk screws, healing stuff, atoms. Um, just a bit more atoms. And what you can do with these is, uh, if we head over to the menu, 
you can go to the atomic shop and then yeah you can like purchase a bunch of different things so for example in the camp you've got a free item you've got a free poster so let's just unlock it for free um what is it? Here we've got a weather station, so we'll get that for free. Personal terminal, get that for free. I'm not sure if that's... Oh, we've got a five flag bundle, three neon die signs for free. And yeah, and as you see, they boom, it will be gone. You could do prime there just to get obviously you get rid of it if you don't like the free stuff here. No mic, I'll do that there. A small emote you can do, so sorry. Punch box and nice camp of free gift. Icons, yeah. Okay. You can just you don't have to get these if you don't want. Obviously, it's totally up to you. And this one here says yes. Yeah, so you, some of you obviously got to pay for utility. Um, I think there'll be a like gift that they'll just give you a free lunch box. Yeah. Boots XP for an hour, so it is super huge and if you need it. Um, so as you can see at the bottom, we've got 70 atom points, and I probably will try to like save some up for maybe some fun skins on our power armor, or or maybe I don't know a bundle or two if need. But yeah, so guys, um, this is going to be um, oh, the seasons as well. Um, and just go up here. You can uh, do cool. So, guys, this is gonna be me for now. Um, I hope everyone enjoys the episode so far. And what we're gonna do next episode, we're gonna continue um, on the main quest the and yeah, Dreams. just uh, continue on the path uh, in Appalachia. Now, for now, guys.